Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel from me and the inspector this morning here in Lincolnshire. I'm with my Royal Snail van, and uh, it's actually a Fiat Doblo Cargo 2009. It's the 1.3 Multijet. In this video, we're going to be replacing the oil filter. I've got what I need here. I've obviously got my oil, which is 5W30 fully synthetic. And you might think, well, hang on a minute, John, why have you got two oil filters? Well, I've been to my local Auto Factors, which is AP Titan in Boston. They've worked out at about four pounds each, including that. And like anything, their systems told me there was two different sorts. So I've ended up buying both. They're both cartridge filters, the sort of paper filters with a gasket, like so, but they've got different ends on. In fairness to the team there, they've said, pay for one, take both, and then bring the one that you don't use back. So, um, Clearly quite a trusting company with me. Uh, one has got sort of a screw in like that with a gasket and the other has got an end on. In this video then, we are going to replace the oil. We're going to give the Fiat Doblo a bit of an interim service. I've had the van for three years now and I haven't done an oil and filter change probably in the past two years, which I know you're all going to be shouting at me. The van does get quite a bit of use. So today... We're going to give it a bit of TLC. That, here's the expert, he's turned up. Good morning. The expert's over yonder. <laughs> uh, the expert over yonder, yeah, of course, is. being expert. the van inspector. Morning to the van inspector. She was in the introduction. Um, in the intro, I've said, you know, look, we've not really changed the oil and filter on this for a good couple of years, and people will be shouting at us for that. Um, Can't hear them. <laughs> We're going to change oil and filter. Anything else you're going to be looking at today on the little mini service for the Royal Snail Van? Not doing anything. You're doing it. Oh, I'm doing it all, am I? Yeah. Fine. I'm fair playing enough. with the dog. You're going to you're going to be observing. So I'm going to be doing the oil and filter change. Then uh, I better get my gloves on. Um, we're checking out the air filter. I'm guessing checking out the coolant levels, brakes. We we'll have a look at the front brakes. I think. Yeah. Look at the front brakes. Okay. Good. Have a look at the rotten sills. Are the sills rotten on it? A bit tender. Aren't they? <laughs> It's it's a, a bit of a workhorse, my van. You know, it's got the usual red paint lack appeal, and it it is getting quite bad. That bonnet has gone like that in my ownership. Right, I suppose I better get my tools out then and, and, and get sorted. Let's have a look where the uh, where the filter is. It's going to be oh, it's in a horrible place. It's here. That's a bit of a horrible place to get to. Uh, so it's going to be taken off this engine cover here it's going to be taking off this air intake here and getting it in there that's not too bad i'm sure you've seen them in worse places than that i'm not too worried but you might be <laughs> right let's get this uh taken apart get me tools we should be first all things right. first get the engine draining Right, and what before we got here? For you jack it up. Yes, good idea. Take the front wheel nuts off. No, crack them. Crack them. Crack them, Gromit. Take them off. Yeah, yeah. Not crack on, Gromit. Crack on, Gromit. So, what you're suggesting is uh, take the front wheels, cracked while it's on the deck, jack it up, take the wheels off, check the brakes up, put the axle stands under, uh, get the sump emptied, get that draining. Jobs are good. And this is the, what, the second time I've ever changed oil and filter on something, so it's going to be a bit of a learning curve, so you're going to have to stay with me. But, um, Learning, learning. Dad is now the cameraman for the very first time. Right, let's move this out of the way. Uh, crack these wheel nuts off. Careful not to damage me. Trim. Making this look difficult. They're quite tight. You've bored the dog. <laughs> right, that's right. them done on that I've side. I've only got to crack them, bro. Just this crack. side, this side. Not crack on, crack on. Half a turn will do. Just a, a bit of a look at them, because you did ask me about them when we was checking it over once before. So What's that, sorry? You asked me about the pads. I said, I can't see the pads through the wheel. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. So we're going to just check the, the discs and pads, right? We check the pads, really, yeah. When we bought the van, when I bought the van three years ago, we put new brake discs and pads on the front, didn't we? Jolly well did. So, hopefully within the three years they haven't deteriorated. You've just got a message saying that uh, on X that Martin Lewis is signing off. Signing off? 
Signing off what? I don't know. Isn't he the man that tells you how to save money? Yeah, don't buy old cars. Yeah, that's it, man. That's his tip of the day. All uh, right, wheel nuts are correct. Good. What's next? Isn't this much better now we've both got a jacket? Oh, mate, it's like... <laughs> I'm living the dream. <laughs> All my life, life easier. Myself. I wish I had two jacks. No, I have two jacks. I did see when I was searching the interwebs that the Parker brand trolley jack looks very much like that one. The one that I'm jacking, that I'm using? Yeah. There we go, right, now, important thing. Axle stands. Right. <laughs> Are yours in place? It certainly is. Just stick it under that subframe there, boy. That's it. There? No. No. There's an arm there, look. Yeah, move it further inwards from the arm. That's it, my old mate. Oh, it's been wood gone. It's, it fell off, mate, while you was performing. <laughs> it's in the jack. There we go. Right, that's there. <laughs> Good. Right, so Ooh. trim's off, tyres nice off. wheel alignment. Sorry? Cracking wheel alignment, wear drill. Is it good wear all around? Um, no, it's disgusting. Yes, that wheel alignment needs looking at. Because as you can see, it's heavily wearing on the inside there. What is causing that wheel alignment issue? If you want your honest opinion, it's not wheel alignment. Well, there's uneven tyre wear there. Yeah, it's not wheel. If it's wheel alignment, you can feel it like it's feathering. But let's put it like this, my old matey load. They're not illegal. No. But they're not ideal, are they? Because what happens is, it, it, it'll soon be the cord showing. But there's plenty of trend. This is if. This bit can be bald and that bit can be bald because it's not part of the tread pattern. This is all the tread pattern, which doesn't make any sense at all. No. But the worst thing about that is, next thing you know, you were through to the canvas. Yes. So not illegal. No. Nope. But not ideal. Uh, <laughs> and what is causing that? It doesn't feel like tracking, but everybody will say it's towing out too much. But my humble opinion, it's not feathering. Well, you're the one that's got hands on. It's not fair. I would suggest that it's towing out a bit too much. Must be. Well, it's definitely not good, is it? It's definitely not right. Something we need to address. Um, I will take it and have it tracked. The other one is worse. It the is. other one. That's not going to be long for that showing canvas, that is. No, I think it's two new tyres and some alignment is needed, if I'm honest. Could it be due to the fact that I carry loads in the centre of the van? Is that going to make any difference? No. No, mate. You right. Don't, you don't carry out heavy in it, do you? Not really. Just me. Well, that's it. It's overloaded, perhaps. <laughs> right, so you're going to check out the brake discs and the pads. The pads look okay, to be fair. Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're fine. Uh, let's take a look at the discs. Oh, yeah. There's all the ruddy stuff lying They're around. They're all all right as well. We've been taking pictures of the ruddy stuff here. What's that? <laughs> There's stuff all under her feet. Yeah. Well, they look seized up, are they? What's these new discs and pads when you got it? Uh, we put new discs and pads on it, yeah. yeah. Uh, about three years ago. We ought to just take them out and clean them at ease. There you go. So we'll take them out and give them a clean off then? Yeah, I reckon we ought to do. While we're at it, now we've got this far. Need to get that under tray off though, dude. I thought there was a hole in it, but I think I might be wrong. Don't you lay on that cold floor. <laughs> You'll hurt your back. I'm all right laying on the cold floor, it's you. Oh, it's me, is it? Does it need the under tray off? Yes. Does it look as though it's a difficult task? No. Are you going to take the under tray off then, Grubbit? Yes. <laughs> okay, Grubbit. Whilst you check that out, then I'm going to take the under tray off. I don't like the look of that, mister. What's that? I bet that'll be staying in there. What? The pad? No, the bleed nipple. Oh. I don't know what they're doing. They're not going anywhere. They're not, not coming out there. They're not, and I'm not risking breaking them off. 
What's that you're trying to take out? Uh, I'm trying to undo the bleed nipple, but I'm not going to... Since it's not desperate to take it out, I'm not going to do it. Fair enough. Because it doesn't want to come out by the cover. Rolling about like a big fat I'll white. Give it a bit of squirtage. There we go. Looking good. Now we're not wasting the time. Do they need easing off? Yeah, they do, mate. They're not sea solid, but it's to make a better job of it. Good stuff. Oh, right first time. Oh, top banana. What, you, what are the torques? Yeah, well, no, not the torques. 13. Just guessed the right size of this bolt. Top bananas. Bananas of top. Oh, I see. That's a little shim thing that's died. That's not going to be good. Oh, dear. It's amazing that your power tool didn't shift that. It's You're knocking sure. dust in me, all right? I thought it might be. It's not very powerful, my power tool. Right, in theory. The under tray. Ah, there's one there. And there's one. Oh, there's a, <laughs> yeah, right. You need a 10mm spanner for that one as well. Because that's where it was all broken off and I repaired it when you bought it. It's still retained by the nope. parts. Doesn't look it. Ready? Yeah. Oh, top banana. Excellent, Smithers. Oh, on your face, I'll drag it out. There it is. Under tray is off. Actually, I can see the sump as well. I'm right underneath it. There's no leaking from underneath there. So what is it you're doing there? I'm cleaning and easing the discs, mate. I've scraped the scale off the edge of the disc. So all this just fell off. What is yeah. that, just corrosion? Yeah, it's just a rusty scale. So set that off. And I'm going to clean all these bits out where the pads fit. Yeah. And then put the pads back in after I've cleaned it all up. Good. Worth doing then while we're there. No, it wants to be done while we've got the blinking wheel off. on the floor, look. But the, the, the discs and the pads are all right. Yeah, brilliant. Much wear? No. Good. It's excellent. We're not so wasting the time, that's the main thing. It's a service item, really. You know Meanwhile, that. I'm going to take a look underneath. Oh, there's all the under train nuts and bolts. Let's have a look underneath here, then. At the underneath. <laughs> well, there's the sump. You can see there's a bit of corrosion on somebody. It's just surface paint. Uh, there's the sump plug. Uh, there's a bit of corrosion under there, but not too bad. Looking good. Looking for leaks. There's a bit of corrosion on this pipe here, but it's not terminal. Leaks aren't in yet. Mum's only just <laughs> got the seedlings going. Okay, good. Right, drain tray. Let's get this sump plug loose. If it's really tight, it's better to have a T-bar on so you can push evenly from both sides. There it goes. There it is. Beautiful. Can you edit noises out when I do some grinding? <laughs> no. Oh, no. It's all right. Well, I aren't doing it by hand, I'm too lazy. So that's emptying now, good. Do, 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 do. I've got oil on my tool. <laughs> right, need to get the gloves off. Need to get that tool all cleaned up. Need to get that all empty. What have you done there? What have you done that for? So the pads slide in and out freely. So you've just cleaned off the caliper here, so or the I'm, pad holder. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, mate. That's the uh, caliper carrier. Caliper carrier. Pads need to be able to move freely. Oh, that looks good now. Excellent. <laughs> done a grand job. Thank you. Thank you, Smithers. 
Meanwhile, I've cleaned the tools off. Uh, the good news is it does say on here, uh, oil regularly. Well, it's had a regular oil now. Cleaned all that off. So you've cleaned that off, you're now fitting it back on. What is the spray you've put on there? I haven't put any spray on Oh, yet, what is I've this? sidetracked by you talking rot. <laughs> what is this spray you're going to be put on there? It's to stop that corroding. So I take it off and put the spray on it. Yeah. Ta-da! Good job, the apprentice is doing. I do wish we've got some insertion. <laughs> oh, there we go. What's the spray you've put on there? Read the tin. <laughs> <laughs> Crack on, Gromit. Brake spray, there we go. Good job me and Crystal are keeping an eye on it, Crystal. Mm, well, is, mate. I'm dead chuffed. Right, now it's time for me to start getting at... Uh, the oil filter. The oil filter. Right, so concentrate what you're doing. Don't listen to the tomfoolery. <laughs> What's going on beside you? Right, so we've managed to get this bit off. Uh, loose, loose, loose. This lifts out, the whole top there lifts out. We're going to leave that connected. What's this, an airflow meter? This way. Yeah, we're going to leave that connected. We don't need to take that off. Uh, and then there is the oil filter housing. Good. Not too difficult. Dan's given me a top tip, which is to wipe all around here, all this swarf and stuff off uh, before I take this off, just to stop any of that going into the engine. Off. Right, so old filter is out and we send them for a uh, special recycling. So that's in a recycling bucket ready to go. Uh, I've got to take this gasket off, put the new one on and uh, put the new filter in. So now I've discovered that the right filter is the e Z e e o F or e E0F 174. Documenting that on this video. So when I need another one, I know which one I need. It's the one with the little spikes on the end. I'm going to clean this off. I've got some white spirit in here and I'm going to get a brush and just clean it all out, clean all that off there. Get the new ring on and get it fitted. You're still working on the brakes. What are you doing? You're taking some I'm brake taking fluid out. fluid out of here because we've got to put some new in. And the way you're taking it out is with a turkey baster. Yeah, don't tell your mum. <laughs> Here's a new oil filter, just in case you want to see it. It's got these little clips in here. And sort of clip into the base of the holder. Yeah, there it is. Dogs in space. Would you suggest priming this filter? No, mate. No point. No point priming it. What you uh, need to do? It literally then. just clips into the holder, so it's stick it together. Clipped in now, ready to go. So I've put that on with by my hand, but it does say here. Uh, you can't see it. it. Does say 25 newton meters, which is the torque setting for that. So we're going to torque it up to 25. Here's my torque wrench, got it set up, 25 newton metres, torques are up. So now it's time to put the sump plug back in, Dad's put some anaerobic sealant on there. What's the reason for putting the anaerobic sealant on? It's the first thing I come to. One, tight. Two, Tight, brakes tight. So the sump plug is in to finger tight. Now I'm going to research the torque settings and torque it up. You've been doing the brakes meanwhile. I jolly well have. Let's have a look at this. I've managed to get that side done in between the tomfoolery. So that's been done. You've eased that off, cleaned all that off. That's on the off side now to do the near side. So by the time I've done an oil and filter change, you've done brake stripping. <laughs> Well, the good news is you just had an update on your Hyundai. Uh, the details will be in our most recent podcast. So if you haven't seen that, watch that. Uh, Dad's Hyundai is out for some painting. Um, and I have just fitted the sump plug. There it is. 22 newton metres. And what I've done is clean all up under there. Uh, so, uh, excuse me. <laughs> what are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. That's just what I wanted. Thank you. 
I love you, John. I just wanted some kisses while I I'm under here. I to tell you I care. <laughs> yes, you're a good girl, aren't you? She's you're a good girl. Best. She's saying, why have you fallen over, Daddy? Are you dead? Grandad falls over, but he gets up quicker than <laughs> you. You can't get me dinner if you're on the floor, Daddy. Right, that's it. Work stopped now. Work stopped now. <laughs> and it. Work stopped now, then. Dog Just helping. Entertaining. Thank you, yes, thank you. Love you too. Right, should we carry on? Good. <laughs> so, we've got that sorted, haven't we? We've got that sorted. We've got all that sorted Now what time is it? We've got to fill it up now, haven't we? We've got to fill it up, yes. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Are you a good girl? <laughs> right, well, uh, Crystal's come to join me to help me put the sump plug in. We've got the sump plug in. Uh, 25 Newton metres we talked it to, didn't we? This is your torque wrench. Torque wrench, Inspector. Um, what's next, Crystal? We've got to fill it back up again, haven't we? <laughs> Dad's finishing the brakes on that side. Yeah, thank you. I don't need kisses. And then it's time to fill it back up. Pom foolery. Hey. Right, so the next thing to do is to put the top back on, get it all nice and tight. Uh, all the air filters and bits and pieces and pipes are put back in. In fact, I'm just tightening this one up now, making sure that it's nice and tight. <laughs> and then, to put some oil in it. How tight would you recommend doing these? Very tight? No! That's on there, that's on there, that's on there, that's on there. Everything is good. How's your near side brake coming along? Oh, right, you've done a good mate. job there. Was it? Was it worse or better than the other side? Better than the other side. That's Once interesting. Crowded. It's not needed so much stuff taken off. It's not so, that's right, it's not so crowded. Right, well, it's time to put some oil in it. Why are we putting oil in the van when it's still up in the air? It's not level. <laughs> Why are we doing that? Because you'll need to check it for leaks, mate. Okay. So, so you get approximately the right amount of oil in it yep. and start her up and then you can have a look and see if it's leaking. It's, if it's leaking underneath. If it's not leaking, you can switch it off and put the under tray back. That makes sense. Ooh. One That's litre. Good, mate. Two litres. When you go home, your mum is going to say, why is my dog oily? Because <laughs> Grandad has been patting her. Three litres. Crystal, you're all oily. Yeah, it's a bit to the garage. It's to the garage today, John. <laughs> you've got an oily tail, you've got an oily snout, you've got an oily head. Where have you been? Grandad patted me with his oily hands. Grandad did it. <laughs> mummy will tell you off. She'll know that you've been to the garage today. Right, so she's, we've filled it up to three litres. Just get it a bit warm, get that oil moving around the system, started it up. And then we'll check for some leaks, make sure there's no leaks. I have just been under it, there's no leaks from the sump plug. No leaks from the filter. Once it's not leaking, put the under tray back on, get it on the deck. Jobs are good in. Now, as you know, I am merely the apprentice and not the master, so Dad's giving it a check over, making sure that the sump plug is talked up, making sure that there's no leaks, making sure that everything is done properly, because at the end of the day, it's going to be me driving this and Mrs John Cooper as well, so I don't want to put anyone in any danger. That's just making sure everything is done correctly. How's it looking? All right, mate. It's never a good sign that you're sweeping up my van from off the floor. That's right. Right, time to put the under tray back on. Right, under tray. There we go. That's in. You hold it up, I'll put a nut on here. Yep. <laughs> Talking of nuts. 
Hello, Crystal. What are you doing under here? I'm observing to make sure you do the job properly, John boy. <laughs> the under tray inspector. Crystal, what are you doing under the van? You can't get under the van. You just jolly well watch me. <laughs> copper slip, copper slip. One thing I will say about this is the chassis is not rotten at all, is it? No. What are you doing? I'm inspecting. <laughs> Get out of the way. So. It makes you laugh when I come under here, doesn't it? <laughs> I want to help. These are the wrong tools. Go on, watch out the way, Crystal. Uh, no, I stay. Get out the I way. Stay hard. Get out the way. I kiss you. <laughs> I love you. I, I love you because you understand. <laughs> if I could be the biggest nuisance, I could get what I wanted. <laughs> Stupid dog. Move your bomb. Get it out of the way. Uh, no. <laughs> You know <laughs> You, a monkey. If... Uh, That's tight, good. <clears throat> Hair on, good. Good. On the tray, it's back on. I got copper slip on me face. Right, that wheel's back on. Put the wheels going back on. And it'll be time to put her on the deck. How long have you had this near mate? Three years. Oh, well, no wonder it needed some work then. Yeah. Because we haven't done anything to it much, really. Wheels are on. Next thing to do is torque them up, but... Uh, You've just given me a Pete Coopman top tip. What's your top tip? It's not a top tip, it's what you always do. All right, what's your Pete Coopman? You must always do this. Why don't you torque wrench back to zero after you've finished using it? Why, why is that? Because it's got a big spring in it, and if you leave the spring under tension, it'll upset its calibration. Oh, okay, so it's got a spring inside yes, the torque wrench. Oh, you always wind there. them back to zero. Wind them back to zero. Most folks will know that to use Don't the leave them under, under tension. Good. If you didn't know that, now you do. How you done the tyre pressures lately, mate? Uh, no, we'll have to do that before we do it. Yeah, <laughs> right, mine's out, is yours out? Will be in a second, son. Is your stand clear so you don't drop it on your stand? Stand's clear. Crunch your wheel out, just on it. Good stuff. Shall I talk these wheel nuts just up? please, mate. <sighs> so we're talking these up to 120 newton metres. Come, all ye faithful. Excellent. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, come, Are you singing, Oh, come, all ye faithful? I jolly well am. It's the middle of March. <laughs> oh, it's, we're getting here. You're a bit late. Or early. Did you see there's that chap on one of the Orkney Islands? Ordered his Easter eggs and he calculated, seeing as there's 60 kids at the local school, I'll order 80 Easter eggs. But he ordered 80 cases. <laughs> <laughs> so he's doing a raffle now for the aid of the hour in life for Easter eggs. Surely he must have realised Easter eggs aren't this expensive. <laughs> Maybe he didn't. Oh, Good. I like the look of that. That's all talked up. Right, so now it's on the deck. Now it's been settling for 20 minutes or so and it's had a run. Let's check the oil levels and uh, see how much more oil we need to add. So about halfway up the dipstick. So we need a bit more. I have got my car back from a service today and there is oil all over it. I wish to complain. Yes, we let the apprentice do the job. <laughs> He's not that good, is he? And he's not even that good. <laughs> no. We let the work experience boy do it. The circus was in town and we allowed one of the monkeys to do it. 
Right, another 500 mil then. How long would you suggest waiting before checking the dipstick again after putting some more in? Well, I like to think to myself, you could go and tidy some stuff up. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Then you won't have to wait. I need some coolant, you got some coolant? Let's check the dipstick again. And this time, not throw oil everywhere. Well, by the time I've put this tiny little 100 mil in, it'll be on the top mark. I've spotted my coolant is low. It's showing on the mill mark. We've got some diluted coolant here. Let's just top her up. Didn't need that much. I needed some. Right, next as part of the service, uh, mini service, is oh, we've taken the air filter out and given it a clean. It is. It ideally needs a new air filter and it's something I'm going to buy. Um, but today it's a case of just blasting it out with the airline. It wasn't too bad, but as you can see, it is a bit, a bit dirty, a bit grimy. Um, for the sake of what, eight quid, 10 quid, I'm going to buy a new one. Notice that the power steering fluid is a little bit low. It's on the minimum mark, so we're going to top that up. Um, yeah, loads more on the way. I believe you've just topped the power steering fluid up. Yes, mate. What did you put in there? It's Dexron 3. Ah, there you go. And just literally take the cap off and fill it up, is it? Well, I ain't filled it right to the top. No. It's got a maximum minimum, hasn't it? Yeah, It'll be good. when it's hot, won't it? Right, I'll put the air filter back on. Good thinking. Um, and then what we've got left to do, top the tyres up, check the tyre pressures. Crack on, Gromit, I'm off for my dinner. And then it's dinner time. That's not a bad morning's work. How do you know your tyre pressures on your Fiat Doblo van? Hey, look, some legend has put some PSI markers on there. Excellent. So you can find out and do it normally. How are they looking? All right. Wonderful. Excellent. Air filter box is back on. Tyres are all checked. We're all good. Not bad. Good. Well, there you have it then. Not a bad morning's work. That's taken us a couple of hours, to be honest with you. We had the wheels off, front brakes stripped and done. Dad's done that. I've had a new oil and filter, done the oil and filter change, topped up the power steering, checked the air filter, checked everything, checked all underneath. And as I say, for a couple of hours work on and off, Crystal, the inspector, helping us and have a few cups of tea in the process. The van, hopefully, should now uh, be ready for another couple of weeks of being my daily hack. Uh, one of the reasons I've had to do this is because my smart car is in for a bit of surgery with Dad and needs a little bit of TLC. So this is going to be my commuter vehicle for the next couple of weeks, meaning I'm going to cover a couple of thousand miles. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. Hope you have. Uh, got to see me do some spannering. Dad, the expert, of course, looking on. And a lot of the inspector today, who was being a bit of a wally. I'm absolutely filthy and I'm ready for some lunch. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you could leave a comment below, if you've enjoyed the video or having a chat about the Fiat Doblo, then please do so. It'd be much appreciated. Until next time, have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, <laughs> take care. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.